well, he's old now, but he's got low mileage. Um, he goes well fresh, loves a straight track. He likes decent ground, which it looks like it's going to be. So I would be very hopeful. He's had a few issues in the past, but he's in good form. He's been working nicely, so he's as good a chance as any. He ran third in the Cambridgeshire, so he might want a bit further now. But I think a mile first time up this year will be perfect for him. And Amethyst and James Doyle now coming clear as they race inside the final 150 yards, shaken up but drawing away from Lola Showgirl as they come home at wide margins. Amethyst is an easy winner. I, I think this will be a, a big task for him, but I, I, I'm not sure he's not up to it. I think he's a nice horse. Yeah, this horse was bought uh, from Ireland privately. And to be honest, he hasn't been quite as good as we hoped. But he ran a very promising first race last year. We think he wants decent ground, a straight track, and probably a mile. Although he looks like he wants a mile and a quarter, but a mile and a positive ride. So that's what he'll get on Saturday, hopefully. He's one of those that probably needs to do more to win a Lincoln. Um, but he's a genuine horse, and he's a good, strong galloping horse and um, he'll be up the front uh, battling away. Of our three, he'd probably be the outsider of the three, and I think Sheikh Ahmed has another in the race, trained by Simon Christford, that I think is well fancied. Well, he's got a lot to find, you'd think. I mean, he's run three races, Chepstow and Chester, and then he ran a really good race at Redcar. I was really pleased with him. He stayed on really well looked like the penny was starting to drop so we sort of decided that the Lincoln would be the right option. He's a great big immature horse still but he's talented. He's got a great big head and big frame. My fear would be that he may well in time be better on softer ground but that's not going to stop us running so uh, all being well he'll run a good race. And it's Mudge Tarba who picks up the better of the two, approaching the final 150 yards, and head bowed is coming clear, Mudge Tarba, and wins comfortably on debut. Jim Crowley for William Haggis and Shadwell Estate. You know, I don't think, I think he's got a lot to find with the exposed horses, but I think a lot of people are possibly thinking that there may be more to come. They always talk about, we had a horse a few years ago called a Dave who ran in there and went on and won the champion stakes. I think this horse has got a long way to go, but I think those unexposed younger horses often run well in a race like this. But whether he's got enough experience, I don't know. He hasn't done what Adabe had done by the time he ran in the Lincoln, but I think he's got a very good pedigree. He's by a great sire, Jubawi, and uh, his mother was a champion in South Africa. And I think he's got a chance to develop into a good horse. The other two are relatively exposed. They've had a go in these races. Um, this horse is unexposed, but might not be sharp enough mentally or physically for a test like that, but we're going to find out on Saturday.